Hello everybody, brothers and sisters, friends, whoever's watching us and wherever you are, greetings. We are at the GC in San Antonio for the, for the 60th um, General Conference session. And I'm here with, in my alma mater, it's Pacific Union College. I'm here with Jennifer and she has something to tell us about PUC. Pacific Union College. What can you tell anybody that's watching us about PUC? Well, one interesting thing about PUC, which is the only college in Napa, California, it was voted in 2012 as the most beautiful college in the entire nation by Newsweek magazine. I mean, little PUC, we have 1,700 students and our beautiful campus was recognized in the nation. We're also the second most diverse liberal arts college in the nation. Did you hear that? Newsweek magazine, that's some junky website. No, yeah, not a junky website. Yeah, definitely. All right, okay. So, uh, what I'm hearing from you is that PUC is beautiful. It's beautiful. How about uh, academically, how's PUC? We are very strong liberal arts college. We, our top majors seem to focus around health sciences, which you were a nursing major, but we also, our top major is nursing, we, then business, biology, psych and social work, and visual arts. But we also are very strong mission focused on theology, religion, and education. Yes, and there's one thing I wanna say about PUC. It's the only Adventist school I know with an aviation. It is. We have our very own airport, too. Fancy. <laughs> so, okay, nice. One last question. Well, one question before last. One of the complaints I always hear is that PUC is beautiful. PUC is nice. They're very academically great. If you want to go to med school, go to PUC. It's all right. But, cost of fortune. Well, what could you say to those people? I know private um, colleges are always expensive. What could you tell them about the cost? Because I thought about that, I, could, I, I thought I could never afford PUC, and I made it by the grace of God. So what could you tell people about PUC and why not worry too much about the financial load at first? Well, if I tell people that they go look, they always say, what is the cost of PUC? And really, you go look at the sticker price, you'll be like, oh my goodness, I can't afford that. I don't even make that much in a year. But I can tell you, the average student at PUC, they pay about $6,500 a year. That's the average. So when you go and you look and you see uh, $27,000 or so for a private college education, yes, that is the tuition cost, but there are so many scholarships and grants that PUC offers, but we have to work with each student individually to see where they, they call it a financial contribution a family can make. And so the government requires us to, to work with each student, but we have an um, outstanding four-year guarantee scholarship program for each students based on their grades. We have scholarships for um, their creative arts ability, their passion. We have scholarships for those who want to be teachers or pastors, just an automatic on top $3,000 a year because we really want to help build pastors and teachers for the church. So there's a lot of money there. So don't just look at the cost, but look at what, you know, work with a financial counselor because they will help you get to PUC. We want you there. We want you in Adventist education. Wow. I thought I had a good deal when I went to PUC, but did you just say $6,500? $6,500? We take the look at 1,700 students we have, and when you put them, I mean, we have some students who pay full price. They yeah. just, their families can pay. And then we have some who pay nothing because they're able to get grants and loans and things from the government um, and the school. So when you look at all 1,700, the average was about $6,500. That's amazing. That's less than any state school I know. Well, and it's less than community college. A lot of people think community college is um, going to save them a ton of money, but actually, you can get not your get your classes in community college. You could get stuck there and end up spending a lot more time just yes. getting two years of college could take you four years in a community college. Whereas if you start in an Adventist school, any of our colleges they really help freshmen. You're leaving a lot of money on the table not starting your freshman year. Wow, that's a lot of information. Well, as I said, this is my alma mater and I love PUC. I like saying that my life ended the day I left PUC, the day I graduated. Because it is so beautiful up there, so many people you meet, so many divers, so many activities to do. And the area, Napa Valley, is so nice. 
Well, it was a pleasure to talk to you, Jennifer. Yeah, we're so proud of you and the things you're doing in your ministry you have here. This is why I come to work every day is because people like you, you go out and make the world a better place. Thank you, and that's very encouraging for you to say. Thank you, and please check out PUC, PUC.edu, and hopefully you send your kids or you watching us, and hopefully you attend PUC. It, trust me, it's worth it. I'm a product of PUC. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah.